In this video, we'll be taking a quick look at the iFlyTech AI Note Air 2, and then we'll be taking it apart to have a look at the inside. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. So let's start off by unboxing it and see what it comes with. It comes with a quick instructions guide. It has different languages. A USB-A to USB-C cable. The pen or stylus. We can see the brand located here on the side. The eraser on top. And the pointer. There is also a button on the side. And here's the AI Note Air 2. The housing is made of aluminum. And we can see an antenna line on the bottom, which is probably used for the Wi-Fi. There's a USB-C port located on the top, and to the right of that is the power button. To power it on, just press the power button and hold it for 3 seconds. The AI Note Air 2 is an 8.2 inch e-ink tablet, which is made for note taking and productivity. It has an anti-glare display, making it easy to use and read from without any distractions. It features a paper-like writing experience, which lets you get personal and add your touch to note-taking. With a simple-to-use stylus, you can easily erase anything you don't want, just like a real pencil with the eraser on the back. So for example, if I touch record, it's going to begin recording everything I'm saying, and also allow me to write over here on the bottom to take notes right here. This has a lot of additional features built in, like smart scheduling and cloud sync for notes, making sure you don't lose important notes and schedules. With the AI-powered note-taking, you can convert handwritten notes to text, record speeches, meetings or lessons, as well as easily translate 15 languages. And you can switch back to the original or the translated version. Also in this section, it will show you where the sound is coming from, whether it's the top or bottom, and which side. The AI can also help summarize meetings for you, giving you the important details you need. Apps like Chrome, Outlook, and Kindle can be installed, and you can sync your emails to the tablet. With the camera on the back, you can scan documents or take pictures of items you want, and import them into the tablet to take notes on or directly write on for projects or presentations. We can touch this icon on top, and we can create a new scan. Once you take a scan or picture, if it's not directly flat, you can adjust it and it will fix it for you. You can also download ebooks from the bookstore for reading. So let's move on to the teardown and see how this is built and looks like on the inside. So take it apart, we're gonna have to apply some heat to the screen using either a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then we'll use a pry tool to pry the screen off. So the fact that the screen and motherboard assembly is glued to the back housing will definitely make it really hard prying it off and almost ensure breaking or damaging the screen or other components. 
This does make it a bit more sturdy for durability, however it doesn't help for taking it apart or replacing any parts. Here's a better look at the aluminum back housing. To disconnect the flex cable for the battery, this latch or lock needs to be lifted up to release it. The battery is adhered to the back of the screen, so in order to pry that off, we will need to apply some isopropyl alcohol behind the battery and let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute so it eats away at the adhesive underneath, making it easier to pry it off. This is the 2600 milliamp hour battery, which consists of two battery cells put together to operate as one. This is the camera or document scanner. The latches or locks on these flex cables also need to be lifted up to release them. At this point, five Phillips screws need to be removed. This is the speaker. And this is the motherboard. The USB-C charging port is located on the top corner, and the LED flash is located next to that. Here's a look at the other side. So looking at this plastic frame assembly, the power button clicker and flex cables located on this corner, there's an antenna board on the bottom corner, as well as magnets located on top and bottom. There are also four microphones on this plastic assembly, two on the top and two on the bottom. This flex cable connects the microphones to this flex cable which connects to the board. And here's a better look at one of the microphones. For the repairability score, I give it a 2 out of 10. Overall, this is a thin and light productive assistant, which will help you get your tasks done. It will definitely make meetings and classroom lectures more fun and informative, with automatic transcribing and recording features as well as the AI summarization. Taking it apart won't be the easiest task, but it's not something a majority of the people who purchase this product will be looking to do. It is thin, light, and durable, so functionality and durability isn't something you would need to worry about when it comes to this product. With that being said, I'll place links in the description for anyone who wants to pick up the iFlytech AI Note Air 2, and I'll see you in the next one.